now it's time to fill in the other half of the final matchup. Ty Okea got past the monstrous wall to get to the semifinals. Vampiro coming after two tournaments in 48 hours in two countries and no sleep. Barely, and I mean just barely, got by the fallen angel Christopher Daniels who will be back here in MLW gutting for whomever the champion is. It's now time for our second semi-final matchup. Ty Okea, one-on-one -on -one with Vampiro. We now go down to ring announcer, Steven DeAngelis. Weighing in at 264 and one half pounds from Guadalajara, Mexico, Vampiro. And in the corner to my right, weighing in at 230 pounds, from Honolulu, Hawaii, Tayo Kea. And here come the streamers again. You may have noticed, but Vampiro's wrestling style has changed quite a bit, as has his look. Due to a serious neck injury, he's had to ditch a lot of the high flying to work in a lot of grappling and submission. He's learned, he's been studying with Matt Fury to do so. His roots are in Lucha Libre, but with a bad neck, I flying and the possibility of landing on your head and ending your career, and quite frankly, the rest of your life walking upright will make you adjust the way you compete. Vampiro in the first round took on the fallen angel, Christopher Daniels, who's got to wonder how much he's got left to face Tai Okea, who survived a, a grueling matchup with the brutal wall. Vampiro and Kea circle one another. Vampiro's new wrestling style, which Kea may or may not be ready for, is similar to that of pride fighting, which is very popular in revolutionizing Japan's wrestling style right now. Vampiro may be ahead of his time using submission style wrestling. That's why he's here in Major League Wrestling. <laughs> he's wrestler who's been making a name for himself in old Japan. Really made a name for himself in 2001. Looking to make a name for himself here now stateside in MLW. <laughs> Felt this was the right place, the right time. Felt Major League Wrestling was the right venue, the right stage, if you will. To make the world take notice of him. over 10 years since the old Japan wrestler captured a major U.S. heavyweight championship. Tonight, Tai Okea can do so by bringing the Major League Wrestling Championship over to old Japan. Think about the matches we would see then. Reversal on the hammer locks. And we are trying to break down Kea, who comes up with an arm bar of his own and an arm ringer. Vampiro now the reversal on the arm ringer. Into the wrist lock. Okay, it rolls through. It's a sidekick that takes Vampiro down. gingerly on the back of his head either. Okay, and now on the offensive, side headlock. Okay, okay has been with All Japan Pro Wrestling for some eight years now. He's won the World Tag Team titles with KG Muto, the great mood of you American wrestling fans. Was also their junior heavyweight champion. Also won tag team gold with Johnny Smith. Spin kick catches Ty Okea right in the ribcage. Nicely timed by Vampira. Vampira looking to escape the waist lock and does with a trifecta of elbows. Beautiful Rana on the run by Kea. Caught Vampira coming in, gets a two and a half only.
scoop and a slam on Vampiro by Kea. Great splash in the corner. Two and a half only. We discussed in the first round, Kea's mentor is Keiji Muto, who's also trained by Jumbo Saruta, Kenta Kobachi, and Dory Funk Jr. Franchise Shane Douglas is looking on from the locker room after his matchups against Steve Carino and Jerry Lynn to reach the finals. Two. The Imperial gets bombed. Two count only though. Kicks out. Yeah, all over Vampira. Vampiro does not want to give it up. You know, Vampiro took a couple of nasty falls in this matchup so far, landing on the back of his head. It's quite possible Vampiro right now is wrestling with a concussion. And if that's the case, his only choice is going to be to completely abandon any high flying whatsoever and go to submission style wrestling. And he's learned from the heir to Carl Gotch, Matt Fury. And that survival instinct on the part of Vampiro. You can see him, he keeps clutching at the back of his head. That's what leads me to believe Vampiro may right now be wrestling with a concussion. And quite frankly, he'd be well within his right to forfeit the matchup and not go on to the finals. But the Major League Wrestling, the MLW Heavyweight Championship, hangs in the balance. So Vampiro is going to wrestle through the pain and whatever else he's feeling. Double axe handle by Vampiro. to be out on his feet. He looks glassy-eyed. That was Vampiro standing. Vampiro barely kicks out. like a shark that smells blood. Tai Okea has to go for the kill on Vampira. Kea perhaps going for a pile driver. Vampiro trying to block it. No, instead power bomb on Vampiro again, clutching the back of his head. I have no doubt at this cover. I have no doubt at this point whatsoever that Vampiro is wrestling with a concussion. He is clutching at and protecting the back of his skull, the base of his neck. Referee John Finnegan would also be well within his right to stop this matchup. Another power bomb by Ty Okea on Vampira. Vampiro now looking to put Tai Okea away. And launches Kea face first into the second turnbuckle, but can barely get him over his head. <laughs> Belly to back suplex by Vampiro. And now it's Kea landing on the back of his head. Cover, kick out. Oh. 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 I'm fitting a 
checking on Vampiro, asked if he wants to continue. Vampiro said, yes, I do. Both Kea and Vampiro very slow to get up right now in this semifinal matchup in the Major League Wrestling Tournament to crown the first MLW World Heavyweight Champion. Kea set for the ride. Vampiro ducks his head, sunset flip. Vampiro trying to hang on, cannot. Two count only. Close line, down goes Kea. Cover, hook of the leg, two, no. Front kick, picks up Vampiro, into the Hawaiian crush. That should be it. Two, no, Vampiro kicks out. Vampiro kicked out of the Hawaiian crush. Draw in the semifinal matchup. Referee John Finnegan wants them to go another five minutes because one of these two men has to advance. We need a winner to go on to face the franchise sheet. Douglas. That's Shane Douglas's music, but we don't have his opponent for the finals yet. Vampiro and Kea just went to a time limit draw. 